In today's video, I find myself spending three hours in Jetstar Economy class as I venture home from the Sunshine Coast to Adelaide after an amazing holiday. Yes, yeah, so I'm back at Sunshine Coast Airport, ready to fly again. So, it's nice and warm here in the Sunshine Coast, but let's head into the terminal and begin today's adventure. Let's do this. My first mission of the day was to travel from Noosa to Sunshine Coast Airport, which is about a 30 minute car ride. Nevertheless, it's always an extremely scenic one. I soon arrived at the tiny and cosy Sunshine Coast Airport where I made my way inside the terminal. Having already checked in earlier online, I was able to head straight past security and into the busy and crowded main terminal area. Okay then, <coughs> our plane has just landed in from Adelaide and we're about to go get on board to fly back to Adelaide. I just got myself a large chai here from a cafe over there. Tastes pretty good to be honest. Hopefully we board relatively soon. The flight is about five minutes early coming in, but we all know that they never depart on time. But yeah, hopefully we can make up some time. I'm not sure what the winds are doing on our way back to Adelaide. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this chai until it's time to board. We were soon called through to board our flight to Adelaide. Here is the aircraft which would fly me to Adelaide this morning. Victor Hotel, Victor Quebec's Golf. Originally delivered to Jetstar in May of 2006, this aircraft is nearly 18 years old. Welcome on board the A320. Seats are laid out in a 3-3 configuration over 31 rows. The Jetstar A320 then. Nothing special about the seat, just the normal Jetstar seat. Um, the leg room is average, as per usual. In the seat pocket there is a menu as well as a safety card and an air sickness bag. And there is a coat hook there. That's a tray table that folds down and moves backwards and forwards. And that is my view for the flight over today. Um, not a bad view. Should be a nice departure out of the Sunshine Coast. I think we're going to depart in, uh, north west and then probably hopefully some right hand turns so we go over the ocean. Um, yeah, this seat's pretty basic. You know, it's, it's right. Hopefully, it'll do for the two and a half, three hour flight down to Adelaide and hopefully we can get into Adelaide on time. Uh, we went to get in at 1.15. Uh, should think we're a bit late coming out, so hopefully we can make up some time in the air and get into Adelaide on time. Two hours, two hours, 34 minutes. Yeah, I think they're just finishing up the loading now. Yeah, hopefully we can close these doors up as soon as possible and get on our way into Adelaide. Clip it at the front and then pull on the loose strap to tighten. Only inflate your life. It wasn't long before we were then starting pushing back before our start up. After starting up, we had a very short taxi to runway 30. We soon lined up ready for our departure from runway 30. Today's departure took us a series of right hand turns out of the Sunshine Coast before setting track for Adelaide. Total flight time today was 2 hours and 34 minutes, cruising between 31 and 34,000 feet. Okay then we're up and away from the Sunshine Coast Airport. We did take a right hand turn after takeoff which ensured us some really nice views over the sea like that one. So about two and a half, three hours to Adelaide now. Buy on board. I don't know if I'm gonna buy anything because I think it's all a bit overpriced. I'm not really too hungry. I had to try the airport, but I will take advantage of the free cup of water they do provide. But hopefully, they'll come around with that one soon. And yeah, hopefully, we get into Adelaide relatively on time. I think we left about 15 minutes late, maybe, but I still think we should get in relatively on time, which will be nice. Nice day, nice, really nice day to be flying. Hopefully, I think the weather's going to clear up as we get closer to Adelaide. Things may be 
No rain there today. I'm not sure if it's cloudy. Yeah. Just leaving the sunshine close. Now I think I think we're going to track down past Brisbane, then past Gold Coast, then obviously down through Central New South Wales before heading into Adelaide. Yeah, I think that's Brisbane that I can see down there. Sunshine Coast, I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm gonna watch a movie that I've downloaded and enjoy this flight and hopefully get a free cup of water soon. I did then get my free cup of water and it was nice and refreshing. I thought it was a great way to stay hydrated, especially on such a long three hour flight. This is the only thing that Jest offers for free on these flights, but it is the only thing that we really need. Okay then, welcome to the Jetstar Lavatory. This is at the back of the plane. Like, the fuselage, whatever you call it. The end of the plane's right there. And it's very, very cramped in here. But, not much space, but hey, there's a toilet, so it does, the, it does the job in my eyes. Okay then, we're now approaching into Adelaide Airport. <laughs> Taking a bit of a left hand turn, so I think that we'll be landing on runway 05. I have a very strong suspicion that we'll be landing on runway 05. Anyway, the flight with jet started today, two and a half hours. Didn't go too fast, if I'm being honest. Nice and free cup of water. Once again, get jet stuck at your point A to point B. Now this route between Adelaide and the Sunshine Coast. Jetstar are the only airline that fly direct, and if you want a direct flight, you have to take them. Otherwise, you go through Sydney or Melbourne with jet with up. The seatbelt sign has now been switched on for landing. Please make sure your seatbelt and the seatbelt of infants and children travelling with you is now fastened. The cabin crew team will now be seated for landing. Thank you. Or you can go through Melbourne or Sydney with um, Virgin or Qantas. I mean, that's alright. But for the direct flight, if you can put up with jet stuff, I, I would, you know, it's, I didn't find this, this route to be too bad. The flight didn't go too slow. And now we are descending down into Adelaide. So yeah, I'd definitely fly Jetstar on this route again if, if it was for a reasonable price. But yeah, descending down into Adelaide now. Nice hot summer's day, mid-January. So I've noticed that Australia's looking a lot drier than it usually is. Maybe that's because of like rain, who knows. Yeah. We did then continue our descent down into Adelaide and I was mistaken, we weren't landing into runway 05, we just had a series of turns to avoid weather and other aircraft before we lined up for runway 23, which took us flying over the Adelaide CBD on a really nice summer's afternoon. We then touched down just 10 minutes behind schedule. After a really short landing, we vacated the runway extra early and we soon found ourselves taxiing to the terminal at Adelaide Airport. The taxi today was short and we didn't have any queues waiting for a gate. Welcome to Adelaide, more specifically Adelaide Airport. I'd just like to take this chance to say a massive thank you to my patrons for their continuous and ongoing support. 
Their generosity ensures that I'm able to keep traveling and making videos just like this one. If you'd like to join them, I'll put a link in the description box down below. Otherwise, you can support me through PayPal Me. Any amount is appreciated and goes towards making more videos just like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.